how can I automate repetitive tasks in Google Workspace? Now, if you're a Google Workspace administrator or you're a small business owner who's stuck with the job of managing your Google Workspace, you're probably interested to know how can I make sure that I'm keeping productive. Google's got a number of ways that you can have your business processes repeated, let's say made more efficient using Google's tools. And I wanna take you through a few different areas that you can do that. Now, when you think of the word repeating, immediately I start to think about Google Calendar, right? And Google Calendar is the most obvious place where you're going to be repeating or setting up tasks or anything else that you need done in fashion that happens multiple times. So if I go into my Google Calendar here and I go to create an event, I can set it to repeat. One of the things that I like to do is to set up group-based event invitations. What that means is when I have a new employee who's starting with my business, they will automatically receive notifications of events that they've been invited to in the past. So what does that look like? Well, i go and open up an event. I'll create a test event here. All right, test event is done. And when I invite guests, let's say I wanna invite my uh, marketing team here. I just invite attract at IT Genius. And that group, which I've set up in the admin panel, is gonna invite all the people that are involved in that group. I can choose to set that to repeat. So that maybe is uh, you know weekly on Fridays and maybe that's our, our all hands meeting. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit save. Uh, I'm not gonna send that to everyone, but that's gonna appear on everyone's calendars. Now, the magic of this is when I onboard a new employee, when someone is starting with the business and it's their first day or their first week, when I go and set up their email address in the admin panel, so that's admin.google.com in directory, and then groups. Once I've set up different groups of staff, all I need to do is add the staff member to the correct group, and then they're automatically gonna get access to that repeating calendar event. I love that one. Okay, what else can we do to automate repetitive tasks? Well, maybe if we've got a task that needs to be done every week, we wanna create a task. Well, we can do that inside our calendar, but we can also do that in many other areas of the Google ecosystem, because anywhere where you've got a sidebar, you can click on the, to the tasks button and you'll see your tasks can appear, okay? Great, so if I decide I wanna access just my tasks alone, in the calendar menu, I can click on to switching to tasks up the top and I can set up multiple lists of tasks here. Create a list on the left-hand side. And then I've got multiple lists of tasks to work through. But another way of creating a task would be to actually drop it straight onto the calendar. Clicking onto the all day area on my calendar, creating a test task, and there we go. It saved it on my calendar list. Now, if I want that task to repeat, pretty straightforward, I can choose to have that task repeating and it's gonna automatically create a new task each time. So policies are another great way of automating things that would otherwise be having to be done manually. And policies live inside your Google admin panel. So if you log into admin.google.com, the most obvious policies that you might set are things like security settings across your Google Workspace account. So if, for example, you wanna make sure that everybody in your business has two-factor authentication switched on, you would go to security and then authentication and then two-step verification. And here you can choose enforcement options to make sure everybody in the company has the correct settings set for two-factor. Um, you can go and, of course, check whether or not they've got it switched on by using the user area. But some of the other policies that I really love are setting policies for Google Chrome. Usually when a staff member joins a business, we've got to give them all the apps that they, they need to access to uh, access all of your online tools for your company, right? So they probably need access to your accounting system, uh, maybe your billing system, maybe if you've got a CRM, like a customer management system, that person is probably going to need to log in to a whole bunch of different cloud apps running on the web. And if you wanna make their life easy for them, well, you can even give them links on how to access each one of those from within a policy in Google Workspace. So we do that by going to our management for Chrome. And you can see here, we've got Chrome browser settings. So if you open up Chrome browser and then settings, and then I search for bookmarks. Now you see there's a few different options here. You're looking for the option called managed bookmarks. And you'll see that this will actually work on computers, on Chrome devices, on Android and iOS as well. So basically any device that's logged in to someone's Google account, you can access this function. And managed bookmarks are a list of websites that we define as administrators that we want everyone in the company to have access to. And you'll see here in the top left-hand corner of my screen, when I click onto the links button, 
All of those tools are linked there for me. And anybody else who is in this organizational unit in my admin panel will also get all of those links too. So I really love this for automating, distributing important links to my team. It means that if somebody's new and they don't know what site they need to access for what particular tool, they've just got everything in one place, nice and easy. And I love that for helping them get started. If you need more help with what we've covered in this video, IT Genius provides support services to businesses all over the world with problems just like this, click the link below to get started.